Our Psalm of the week is Psalm 13. This is a very short Psalm of David, just six verses. And this is a lament or a lament Psalm where uh, the writer of the Psalm is crying out to God because of a problem and a difficulty. Uh, in this case, David is having, he's questioning God and he's He's really saying, how long, O Lord, he repeats this over and over, how long, uh, God, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? And how long would my enemy triumph over me? So he's questioning God and then he cries out to God, uh, look on me and answer, O Lord, my God, uh, give sight to my eyes so I can see uh, or lest I sleep in death and my enemy is going to triumph over me and my foes are going to rejoice in my fall. And then thirdly, he not only questions God and cries out to God, but then he trusts God. He says, but I will trust in your unfailing love. So really that's the kind of structure. And, and the main point of the psalm <clears throat> is really just that in times of difficulty, in times of trial, in times of turmoil, is that it is, it, this is, is what is normal for the Christian life. At times, God does, he is silent and he hides from us. Uh, at times, we do experience trial and trouble in God's sovereign plan. And at times, the enemy seems that he's having the victory, but, but he's not. Uh, ultimately, the true victory for us comes not because of us or anything that we do, but in God's faithfulness, faithfulness covenant, faithful covenant love for his children, his has said love for us. And really that's the whole point of uh, what we see here is uh, David is reminding himself and he's choosing to believe he's having faith in God and what God has done. So that's really the main point of the passage. The most important truth that I learned from this Psalm that I was uh, reminded of was, was, I suppose, just really being reminded that a third of the Psalms in the Bible are just like this, are lament or lament Psalms. They're, they're Psalms of God's people pouring out their hearts to God, either questioning God or just sharing about their struggles and their difficulties. I think that there's such a push for us as Christians always to be happy, clappy. Maybe that's just us as Baptists, but we always want to be happy, clappy and so excited and, oh, everything's great. And we want to make sure that we're all always rejoicing. And that that is indeed how we will be one day. But we still live in a broken world here and now. And so although God gives us joy in the trial, um, I think it's good for us to remember that it is normal for the Christian life. And if King David, a man after God's own heart, had trial and struggle, and if every one of the disciples ended up going to a martyr's death, you know, that we know of, or or exiled, then, then it is, Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble. Um, but equally, just as we're reminded that we are to cry out to God with our problems, and we're going to experience problems, um, <clears throat> it's, it's that God is there for us to cry out to, and ultimately to trust in Him, and to trust in His unfailing love, and to choose to believe that God may or may not answer here in this particular situation, but ultimately, because of his faithful covenant love that he has promised to his people, uh, Israel, and ultimately we who are Christians, uh, we are grafted in through the Messiah, uh, the Holy One of Israel. We are, are united and, and brought in uh, to this faithful covenant love, grafted in with because of Jesus. And so we also can trust in his unfailing love, this covenant has said love. One practical area uh, from practical perspective that this text pointed out in my own life, I suppose are these times that sometimes we do get down. Sometimes I, I get down and struggle because it feels like God is not there. And it seems like, you know, um, what am I going to do? You know, and I, I feel like either I feel alone, like maybe this is wrong of Christians, or I feel like I have to figure it out on my own. Well, neither of those are true. Just like David, I am called to question God and pour out my questions to God, uh, to cry out to him to answer, but ultimately to trust in his unfailing love. And so God wants me to bring my questions to him, pour my heart out to him, but ultimately to trust that he is going to answer in his time and in his way for his glory. So that's what this psalm is all about.